If you think anatomy is a dead subject, then think again. Over the next couple of minutes, I want to introduce you to a new online project that's bringing the dead back to life. Anatomy has always been the essential foundation upon which vets build their knowledge. An understanding of the normal structure and function of an animal's body is fundamental in order to understand the effects of disease and to carry out surgery. For hundreds of years, anatomy was taught through dissection and the study of intricately detailed drawings. Today's vet students have access to video-based resources and countless images to enhance their study. Until now, what's been missing is a means of being able to interact virtually with specimens. Recently, a project involving all of the UK and several other worldwide vet schools has been underway, aiming to bring together the next generation of anatomy teaching. This project has helped form a virtual collection of some of the best anatomy teaching tools ever available. These resources will all be freely accessible, not just to vet students, but to everyone and anyone who wants to know more about how animals' bodies are built and how they work. Some of the resources contained in here include virtual dog skeletons, where you can look at each bone in detail. You can click on particular structures to find out more information. There's also a virtual horse's foot that you can examine in detail. Per Carlson created this resource. So we wanted to make a 3D model of the horse's leg that could be made available online for free for everyone to use and enjoy. Uh, and to make this model we used actual MRI images from the hospital and the result is an interactive experience for users to use to learn about how a horse's foot is built up. And just to show you how it works, uh, the model can be very easily manipulated. Uh, you can rotate it around, you can zoom in and out, and you can remove structures to look at the underlying uh, bones and ligaments and so on. And if you want to learn more about a certain structure, you click on it and you get a description about the structure and you get photos, videos, and you can even be asked a few questions about the anatomy. There's also a variety of podcasts that take a 21st century view of some extraordinary old anatomical specimens. This groundbreaking collection has been pulled together by vet students with the help of a team of anatomists from around the world. My role in the OVAN project was to act as a sort of a link between the Royal Veterinary College Academics and the project team. And myself, I also created a resource which is to be incorporated into the project. And it's about the biomechanics of the equine foot. I think it's going to be very useful for students to have everything in one spot. And it's going to help me pass my exams as well. <laughs> It's impossible to fully appreciate just how amazing animals are without taking a look at them inside out. And for me, this project is one of the most exciting things to happen in veterinary anatomy for the last 250 years. And the good news is you can get involved in it. Just go to the website and get stuck in.